future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, a matchup of teams at opposite ends of the division between the Toledo Mud Hens and the Iowa Cubs. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Eddie James gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Wow, talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whip, which is walks to hits to innings pitch, is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not only is his stuff good, but he wipes people out quick. This is a real good pitcher. Richie hey. Milligan is in to start things off here as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. They come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Stepping in now, Mickey McDonald. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Comes in with an average of 265. Three homers, 18 driven in. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. James has racked up over 70 innings on the mound. And during that time, he's worked to a sub one whip. Less than one base runner allowed per inning. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Mickey McDonald goes down for out number two Johnny in the Kirk, top half. The designated hitter. Ryan and the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Man, that's hey, seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Down one, the one, first one. baseline. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Dave Carrillo. And as you check out his righty-lefty hey. splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Now a swing and a miss. Took something one. off that one, and it's strike one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. I Just sometimes you have two. bad bat barrel accuracy. Fouled away. All one. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses. Strikes, yeah. One and two now. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box now, C.J. Chatham. That is it. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Seven homers and 21 driven in. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. First pitch coming. Here it is. The center fielder. As he's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Rounded softly to the right. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Digging in will be Luis Lorencio. 7 8 9, bottom of the order, set to go here in the third. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 0. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1 1. 
The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Chucky Robinson trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. No balls and a strike to count. In there, and he's in control 0 2 now. He knows his strengths and weaknesses at the plate. He knows he has a cold zone away. But the bottom line is this pitcher has been able to execute to that spot. If he misses over the heart of the plate, this guy's still going to be ready. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Go. Chucky Robinson is out number two yeah, here in the third inning. Pritchett. Kenneth Pritchett is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Swing and a miss and a changeup that has him all kinds of goofed up at the plate. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. New inning set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Richie Milligan. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly what you're trying to do. Middle cut, though. Are you a little concerned? Yeah, that's a case of a ball being right down the middle. As a pitcher, you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone, and he paid for it right there with a solid base hit. You know, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. At the plate, Riley Green. Green has the first pitch to him. It's a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. He's coming. Stewart yeah, is there to yeah. put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat runner, back to first. Next up is Dave Carrillo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hit back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's 1 for 2 now. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. At the ball. Off speed pitch here, but it dips one below the knees, evening us at one and one. A good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. The set and the one two. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. A big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And digging in next is Daz Cameron. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. There's a strike with the breaking ball. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. He's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here in AAA. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. 
Next, it'll be Luis Lorencio. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that misses for ball 1. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. 2 0 now. Fouled off. Fastball is in there. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And there are two away now. Now with the plate is Chucky Robinson. Now batting. He's ready. The Here's the first pitch. Chucky Robinson. Ball no. one. Inside. One Changed one, one, up one. on him here, and this is grounded to short. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Kenneth Pritchett. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And he'll try to check one his one. swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Go out here, fellas. Uh, one one. He is in there for the second strike. Oh, that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. Oh, Just a bit there. high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Kenneth Pritchett goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. Into the box, Not Richie bad. Milligan. And so take a look Damn. at ball one. Milligan. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Good splitter there, and it's one ball, even at one, one and one. Not too many guys taking a mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. That's up. That's Pops up. this one up. Cheats into foul territory, and this is going to be a foul ball. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he fouls this one off. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Lined hard to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Stepping in once again is Mickey McDonald. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. Wow, this guy has been on top of it today. Pushing the throttle and pulling it when he needs to. Still no balls and two strikes. He's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. And we still have. And now, Riley Green. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Behind 0-2 now. Fouled away. Change up, and he ain't buying it. One and two. Great arm action on that two strike change up right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. 
Next will be the cleanup hitter, Dave Carrillo. A hit in two tries so far. Lays off 1-0. Hey, this one's tied late in the game as a pitcher right now. You just can't lay a cookie in there 1-0. and oh. Now a half swing here as he one wanted one. to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Hey. And he takes a cold strike two. I'm one absolutely two shocked yeah. he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you got to let go on. Fastball just missed above the zone. Get him yourself right here. Let's go. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key with two strikes, DJ. he's attacking the zone. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Irvin is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Daz Cameron the next to bat. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now a changeup misses here to begin the eighth. It's 1-0. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. High and deep down the left field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2-1 home. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Next to hit is Luis Lorencio. He bounced out last time up. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Lifted into center field. Tejada is under this one. Two gone. Up next, Chucky Robinson. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Swing and a little blooper to center. Diaz ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Iowa leads it one to nothing. Your Martin Fuentes comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Cubs get their 20th home win this year. Eddie James earns his eighth victory of the season, allowing only a pair of hits in eight full innings pitched. Alex Lang is settled with a loss after giving up only one earn. Martin Quintus wraps it up for the save, his first of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, a matchup of teams at opposite ends of the division between the Toledo Mud Hens and the Iowa Cubs. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Steven Gonsalves, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He's strung together a solid season up to this point. ERA in the low twos, and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of high-scoring games and home runs and teams filled with guys that get hit throughout the lineup. This is a really good pitcher. So the next to bat will be Eddie James. He flew out in his last A.B. Throw over to first. Dive, but he's back in there. Hey, you got a good one up there, huh? Come on, kid. 
wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and he misses it. Now a heads up play, and they're still able to get it out. On to first to complete the double play. Next to stand in is Eddie James as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the left fielder. He gets there, but he missed it. Hold up, hold up. And I think that may have been a situation where the runner on first was waiting to see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold the third. Can't really fault him for that, though. Here comes the 0-1. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Drew, the runner at third, James at second with one away. Ball two. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. One it's two and one. That's and he missed three. again, high and away this time. Three and one. Three Team's one been strike. struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he looks at one that misses ball four. So that'll load him up. But at least the double play is in order here with one away. Next to hit, Gavin Sheets. He's working on a one for two game so far. On the ground to second base. This could be right, two. You're up. You're second up. for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is. Now it's a play. Here is Eddie James. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Heading out towards shallow right. Carrillo is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Our final answer, first for the victorious Iowa Cubs, two runs on eight hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Mudheads, one run on three hits, one error. They left six men on base. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show tonight. A matchup of teams at opposite ends of the division between the Toledo Mudheads and the Iowa Cubs. It's coming back. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Steven Gonsalves, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He strung together a solid season up to this point. ERA in the low twos, and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of high-scoring games and home runs and teams filled with guys that can hit throughout the lineup. This is a really good pitcher. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. And this is taken in shy of the track, but the runner will tag from second. And he'll move up to third now. Runner. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Eddie James. First offering on its way. Hopped up. Chatham has a play. One out. Next, here is Mickey McDonald, runner in scoring position with two guns. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. 
So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Mudheads are on top, three to one. Now to bat, Eddie James, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, Matt, he's so difficult to hit from both sides of the plate, but his eyes light up when he's hitting left-handed against the right. Meanwhile here, this round is going to be trouble it. out there in left center, as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield That's scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Runner goes for third. Pitch popped up. Chatham is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Next up, Mickey McDonald. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Swing and a liner. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Make it five to one. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. And now here is C.J. Chatham. Flew out last time up. C.J. Chatham. One one home. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now into the box, Eddie James. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in A-B, maybe once a game, nope, maybe down. once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last yeah, time. Pro there, huh? features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. The one-two. One out, nobody on. Drilled to first, reined in. Beat it out, beat it out, beat it out. himself for the out. So now here is Dave Carrillo. He's got one hit in four at bats. Carrillo. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. There's one on to first, and they get the double play. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it. Now to the plate, Eddie now James bad. grounded out baseman. in his last at bat. Eddie. And now the first pitch. Popped up. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Wow, you don't see a closer finish better than that very often. Only needed. 